Hi, I'm Jonathan from Make Science Easy. Today, I really want to talk to you about something that's been bugging me for a while, and it's homeopathy. Now, lots of people decide that they want to be treated by homeopathy instead of regular medicine. Well, the problem that we have with that is that homeopathy is what we call pseudoscience. So I'm going to be looking at why homeopathy is such a bad idea and hopefully explaining to you why it's nonsense. Now, what I've got in front of me here are 20 shot glasses and they are all filled with water. There's 35 millilitres in each one. And we're going to perform some homeopathy today and I'm going to show you how we can turn this water into homeopathic medicine. So, I've also got a bottle of bleach. It is unopened. And if you can see it, probably not, but there is a sign on it. It says corrosive. This is not the kind of thing that you want to be putting in your body. Now, before I do anything, any experiments, before I make the homeop homeopathic medicine, I'm going to tell you how homeopathy works. At least in theory, how it works. The more I dilute this bleach, the more potent it's going to become. So, the more water I add to it, the stronger this bleach is going to become. Now, any homeopathic medicine that someone takes, if you're ill, it will cure you of those symptoms. But according to homeopathy, if you're healthy and you take a homeopathic medicine, it will give you the symptoms of the illness. So, if I drink a homeopathic bleach solution, it should make me very, very ill. So I should be worried by this, shouldn't I? Well, I'm probably not going to be. So, let's start off. I'm going to open my bleach. It's never been opened before. And I am going to fill the bleach, 35 millilitres of it, into a shot glass. Now, I'm not going to be drinking it just yet. I'm going to be diluting it down the way a homeopath would. So, what will a homeopath do? They're going to take 1% of this bleach and they are going to add it to the first shot glass. They're then going to take 1% of that and put it onto the next one, and the next one, and the next one, until we've diluted it down 20 times. This 20 times dilution is going to be incredibly strong, according to homeopathy. So, if I've got 35 millilitres of bleach in here, I'm going to need to take 1% of it. That's 0.35 of a millimetre. I can just about do this with this syringe, but it's going to be pretty hard to get that little. Also, just so you know, to the side, I have some fresh water for cleaning my syringe if necessary. And I have a wastewater glass. Nothing particularly exciting about them. So, let's get the first bit of bleach. Now, that's one milliliter of bleach. This is almost, this is far too much. I only need 0.35 of a milliliter. So, let's get rid of some of this bleach. I've actually got 0.4 of a milliliter in here, so I'm actually making my concentration a bit too strong. But that's okay, I don't think it matters. So, let's add it to the first shot glass. So I now have my bleach in here. So this is now starting my homeopathic dilution. But I've got to do this the way that homeopaths do, because if I don't, they're gonna say I'm cheating. So one other thing that homeopathy says is that you need to agitate your solution. In order to do that, I'm going to put a hard lid on it, and I'm going to shake it. Now, the more it gets shaken, the stronger the dilution, or the stronger the potency. So, you can see, I'm probably not going to be wanting to drink this either. So I need to repeat my process now, and every time I'm going to add zero, well, 1%, so 0 0.35 millilitres of my solution to the next shot glass. To keep it fair, I'm going to clean out my syringe, and let's do it again. So, 0.4 of a milliliter. Not a lot. So again, add it in, and I mix it. Now we can already see there's not a great deal in here. It really isn't going to be very strong. But this is what homeopathy says. It says the more dilute your solution is, the more potent it is. This goes against everything that we know that science tells us. 
It makes absolutely no sense to have less of something makes it stronger. That really is illogical. But homeopathy is. So if you've ever tried a homeopathic medicine, all you're really getting is either water or sugar. You're not getting anything else. So, do you really want to be treated by water? Is that what you think is going to help you to get better? The chances are, it's not. There's also something else that homeo homeopaths think. They think that water has a memory. They think that water can remember everything that it's ever had in it. Well, if that was true, wouldn't all the bad things be in it? Homeopaths don't think so. Maybe it's because they haven't agitated it enough. Who knows? So, we're already getting along. We've diluted this five times. So we now have what a homeopath would call a 5C solution. Now I'm going to be really honest with you. I would probably be happy to drink this now. But homeopathy says it should be at least 20C. 20 dilutions. I've got 15 more to go. It's going to be a fairly long ride. So let's try and get this done as quickly as we can. One more. Go as quickly as we can. So, you can already see we basically have pure water now. There's virtually nothing else here. And in fact, I am slightly over dilute, well, slightly adding too much of the solution. Now, if any homeopaths are watching, they might well claim I'm adding too much. This is why it's not going to work. I think we can all see the real reason. Now, if we think about real chemicals, if you think about what you might use in a laboratory, or if you're doing a science experiment, what you're told is the more concentrated a solution, the more dangerous it is. Well, this is the exact opposite that homeopathy is teaching us. It makes no sense. Now, I'm also going to be really honest here. I'm not the first person to do this. There are lots of other people who've done this before. But I think it really illustrates the point about why pseudoscience doesn't make sense. So, we're almost halfway there. At this point, it's getting pretty unlikely that this is going to do much harm to me. But we're going to keep on going. We've got all of the, the 0.35 millilitres we need. Now, something interesting has happened at this point. We've now diluted this 12 times. We have what's called a 12C dilution. Why is this interesting? Because now, there is no chance of there being even one molecule of our original bleach in this. This is now by all odds, pure water. There's probably nothing of this bleach left. So how this is supposed to cure me, or have any effect on me, I don't know. But this is the idea of homeopathy. And we've still got a few more dil dilutions to go. But this is now pure water. So, let's get this done. So, if you're still thinking, maybe homeopathy is a good idea, it probably isn't. Or maybe you're thinking, but hang on a minute, I've had homeopathy, it worked for me. Well, there's a reason why you may have think it worked. 
And this is something called the placebo effect. What the placebo effect basically is, is your brain tricking you. When you think something's going to work, it might actually have an effect on your body. But in reality, it's not. Or it could just be that you were likely to get better anyway. That taking the homeopathy made no difference and your body just got better by itself. These are far more obvious things than what is essentially a shot of water, which is about what I'm about to drink. So we've now nearly diluted this 20 times. We've got three more to go. And I should be left with a 20C dilution. This is one of the most potent things in the armour of homeopathy. So if it works, it should make me very ill because that's what homeopathy claims will happen. If it doesn't work, well, I think we've basically just shown that we're consuming water and nothing more. So, last one. Shake it up, agitate it, make sure that the homeopathy is working its magic. And magic really is probably the right word to describe it. Add my solution. Agitate it one last time. Make sure everything is completely ready. So I've now prepared a 20C solution. Is this going to make me ill? It's very unlikely. If I was to drink this shot of bleach, this would probably put me in hospital. If homeopathy works, this should be much more dangerous. Well, let's see. No ill effects, no problems. I'll let you know if I have to go to hospital later, but I don't think it's gonna happen. So, I'm afraid to say homeopathy is complete and utter nonsense. There is no basis in it in science whatsoever. Now, if you want to find out more about science, if you want to learn about why things like homeopathy don't work, if you want to understand the fundamentals of science, then visit us at www.makescienceeasy.com. I'm going to put the URL on the video, so don't worry if you didn't get it. We've got loads of courses to teach you about science, including a free course on scientific literacy. This is going to be perfect for anyone who wants to learn the fundamentals of science to understand why stuff like homeopathy is nonsense and to be able to understand these things for yourself. So, don't try this at home, don't play with bleach, unless you really know what you're doing. Hope that's been interesting, hope you've learnt lots, keep learning.